we wanted to make it abundantly clear when multi copy forms were being used in the left rail. That was something we heard from users was that it wasn't always clear if I had multiple um, copies of like a W2, right? I have a W2, maybe it's a, um, a couple that's filing jointly and I've got several W2s open there. Well, something that we came up with was the idea of having a collapsible Chevron um, menu within the left rail. So as you can see here, um, I can actually open up that there are two blank W2s on this return. Um, and I am able to see, okay, if I hover, this is the toy giver's W2. The reason why we wanted to have some of that information be present whenever you hover was because we wanted you again to be able to know at a glance with the two here, okay, I've got this many W2s. And then if I decide that I want to know more about these forms, I can simply bring my cursor over hover and see exactly who it's for. We see we've got a, a W2 for toy givers. That makes sense for Santa Claus. Um, and we also have a W2 for naughty list LLC. Um, hopefully none of you are on that list. Um, and something that we really wanted to be able to do is when you want to open a W2, we heard this over and over again last year from users was, why do I have to double click? Why do I have to do, and they, it's almost to the point that I heard people say that they were double clicking in other programs because they were so used to double clicking in Tax Act Pro. Well, I'm happy to say that we've added single click functionality to these various things. Yes, thank you. I know it's single click, but it's exciting. Um, and so you can single click and you will actually be able to open that form directly. And that's not just true with um, forms that you've already selected, but let's say I wanted to, um, actually open up a different form. Let's say I wanna open up Schedule C. Um, as you can also see here, um, our tax devs have worked tirelessly to try and get the minimal amount of information in this left rail that is still usable for you. So you're not feeling overwhelmed by seeing this long form description, but that you are still able to see enough information to know, okay, that's the Schedule C and this is what it does. And by hovering over those things, you actually get an expanded description of it. Um, and so if we actually hit the schedule C, it will open the schedule C in that single click. Um, so that is now here in the forms and schedules. But if we go back up to our client's return, it is also here. As you can see, we have these different sections, even related to the forms that you have selected in the client's return. So you can know, okay, all my forms and schedules, they're going to try and hang out over here. All my documents receive specific things. They're gonna hang out over here. My information worksheets, they're gonna be up here at the top, et cetera. Adding that ability of information architecture within that left rail is something that mattered so much to our team this last year. Um, and the great news is uh, if you would like to add a new multi-copy form, say a new W2 we've got going on, um, you can simply see this add new button that's right here above uh, the other various forms you have. And if you click add new, it adds a new W2. So you no longer have to worry about all the double click information that you go through.